Physics GCSC is, in my view, the easiest science. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best advice I have that helps me get a 9 in GCSC Physics. If you're new here, please subscribe and please everyone leave a like. Now, let's just get straight into this. I'm going to give this, keep this as concise as possible, filled with as much information that helps me get a 9. The first point is, and this is why I said physics, I think, is the easiest GCSE, is the fact that you get the equation sheet. Okay, this is literally a gold mine. It used to be that students had to memorize all those 20 equations and that made it so much harder, but that is not the case anymore. My year was the first year when we had the equation sheet and I recognized just how important this was. And as a result, I made the physics equation sheet a core part of my revision. Now, here's what you need to do. You need to make sure you get a lot of practice of those mathematical equations, okay? Because, like the equation questions, because you get the equation sheet, you've got to get those marks. You, it gives it to you. So you need to practice with every single one of those equations, okay? Now, I'll put, I'm going to put a link in the description, okay, of a bunch of questions that I found online, and I use this as well, of the equation questions. So go through that, mark it maybe using AI or something, because I don't have the mark scheme for it, or ask your teacher for these mathematical equations, or look online, whatever. But you need to go through loads and loads of questions and practice them using the equation sheet. If you're aiming for a grade eight or nine, I found this book really helpful, okay, eight to nine targeted workbook. So you're probably going to get a five mark question, okay, where you actually have to combine equations and that can be quite hard. So if you're aiming for a nine and for the higher grades, make sure you've got practice with those really hard equations where you have to combine more than one, okay? So that's my first point and that's really, really useful. You've got to just bang through loads of them. That's probably the thing I'd be doing the most the night before is making sure I'm very confident on those. Like I said, because you get the equation sheet. Now it's also really important to know the units for everything. So what I would also do, is print out the equation sheet, make sure you have the equation sheet, go through every single equation and think, right, what are the units here? What are the units here? What are the units here? You've got to know the units. Just be careful with that. And that can also help you work backwards from the question, okay? Because you know what's what. So go through, see if you know the units for everything. If you don't, fill it in in red, print out another one and try again, okay? You've got to know the units. You've got to utilize the equation sheet because it's given to you. And you've got to understand just how useful that really is. Now, my next point then I want to talk about is the practicals, okay? I say this before every science science uh, e exam because the practicals always come up, okay? So you've got to revise it. And I know I keep reminding you, but it's so critical. They are guaranteed to come up. There is almost certainly going to be a six mark question asking you to detail a practical. So make sure you learn them, okay? Go through them the night before. Watch free science lessons videos. Test yourself on the practical questions. Around 10 to 15% of physics is practicals and 20 to 30% is maths. So already with the maths, with the practicals, you're pushing 40% and upwards, okay? And a grade seven for physics is only around 70%, 75% maybe, okay? A grade nine, not grade seven. So listen, you've got to learn the practicals and you've got to learn the equation sheet really well inside out, okay? Next point then is topics. So the practicals and the maths is a big part of physics, but obviously you need to know some of the topics. What I'd recommend is Seneca learning, okay? And I'd probably go through one of these topics between now and the exam. Pick your weakest area, just see what you can do, okay? Because there are areas of physics that are less mathematical where you actually just need to know a lot of content. So make sure you go through them. Energy sometimes, although there are parts of energy that is mathematical. Electricity, there's also math, but you need to know some definitions. Pick the hard topics. The one difficult thing about physics is some of it can be hard to understand. I think out of the sciences, I find physics the hardest to understand. Like electricity and electromagnetism, I just hated those topics. Like they are some of my least favorite GCC topics among all of them. But because I hated them, I knew I needed to put effort into them, okay? So this is where I did use a lot of free science lessons to actually try and explain it. You've got to make sure you understand the physics content, more so than something like biology, where a lot of it is kind of memorization and you don't really need to like understand. But for physics, I'd recommend trying to understand it, okay? So go through free science lessons, pick out your hardest topics. I know the motor, the motor rule and all that stuff, paper two is really difficult, but electricity is often a hard one that catches students out. We want to find the areas that catch the students out and get good at them and hope they come up, okay? That's your strategy. Because you need to perform better than the country relative, you need to basically do better than them in the questions that they find hard. Now, as I said, utilize the equation sheet, okay? That's really, really important. Next point then is obviously practice. I say this before every science paper and I'm going to continue to say this. You need to just do loads and loads of practice, okay? This is so essential because you spot patterns, you learn the mark scheme technique and you just get good practice with the maths questions as well, okay? So print out loads of questions, right? And that's so important. Or ask a teacher to print out loads of questions or ask ChatGPT or something, look at past papers and just go through them 
and mark them. Keep thinking, what is going wrong? Where are my missing marks? What topics are my weakest? And then focus on them, okay? That is most of my advice for physics, okay? Definitions as well is incredibly important. I'm going to put some definitions in the description of this video, but ChatGPT can help you with that. Make sure you're pretty confident in all the definitions, okay? There's a couple of laws, a couple of rules that aren't tested on the equation sheet. So your definitions need to be strong for sure. And honestly, with that advice, physics is going to go well for you guys, okay? It's going to be a really good subject. I'm very confident of that. Now, it's just the maths the practicals, knowing the topics. But honestly, with that, you can actually quite quickly get good at physics. Out of all the sciences, I think this is the easiest one to quite quickly improve at. The usual reminders then about paper two, okay? Physics paper one, even if this goes badly, we have paper two to prepare for. Paper two physics is different. All of the paper two sciences are actually quite different, obviously. But if this goes badly, you're going to double down on paper two, okay? That's super, super important. Timings, it's not really a time pressured exam, I don't think. So just move through it at a nice, regular relaxed pace don't leave anything blank guess everything if you can especially because you have the equation sheet sometimes i could use the equation sheet to kind of work out things okay that show me the relationship between certain topics so really think smartly about how you can properly use that equation sheet and then also i would just with the multiple choice questions make sure you're making a very very educated guess other than that honestly this is going to be a really good exam i'm really confident whatever they throw at you the hardest questions are usually the maths questions and you've got the equation sheet so keep working on that keep thinking does my answer make some sense and use the advice that i told you about the equation sheet that's super important thanks for watching i've just started this new email list where i'm going to be uploading a weekly um i'm going to be writing a weekly email okay so make sure you subscribe and sign up for that and thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.